Hey everyone and welcome back to Foundation Friday. Today with a little one-off episode in which we are going to look at the brand new UI that has been released a couple of days ago to Foundation. So in case you guys don't know Foundation, hear me out. Today we're going to have a look into this game, into the new UI and we're just going to have a little bit of a playthrough on a uh, brand new little uh, outpost we're going to build and then I'm going to show you off one of my older saves to show you how this all looks in action. So let's rum jump right into it. Alright, so here we are on the starting screen. In case you guys don't know Foundation, Foundation is a little medieval city builder game which uh, borrows a lot of uh, elements from other city builder games that you know, but it also has some little uh, nice additions to it that are pretty much unique to this game. But more about this in a couple of seconds. So first of all, this is a brand new UI overhaul. So um, I'm just gonna blend in how the old UI looked and then uh, you can see already the comparison over here. But uh, hear me out, this is really a really, really, really good overhaul of the UI. There are a couple of things that, you know, I'm not really sure about, but um, all, overall it's really good and we're going to talk about that in just a bit. But first of all, um, we have to start off and there is a bit of an introduction going on. So it does explain to you what is going to happen, getting started, you've got a new territory and so on and so forth. I'm not going to do all of that, but if you guys play it for the first time, it's very helpful. There's a lot of stuff for you uh, in here that is going to help you a lot. Um, so I highly recommend to go through that. Well, we are just clicking that away and at the very beginning you have to purchase a first territory in which you're going to start building. Like I do like a lot uh, about this one over here which is in the middle of the island. I have no freaking idea how other people should uh, get on top of that island. So we are not going to start on the island itself. Um, we are actually going to start this time on uh, this part of the map. I don't know why but I think I just find this interesting. Maybe we can move over to the other side but first of all we're going to start with this little territory and this is the um and the free one you get at the beginning. So you click that and now you have actually put this one in here and now what you have to do is to build the village center. Before we do this we are just first of all pausing the game because we don't want time passing by and now before we do anything I'm going to guide you through this brand new UI which I think has a lot to love about and just a couple of things which I'm not really happy about but um, if you know the old UI it was kind of you know I, I want to call it Windows 98 styled um, a lot of windows a lot of different things um, it didn't really look modern now you have this wonderful um, semi-transparent background you have everything in these kind of brown yellowish you have some highlight colors which um, gets a very quick indication of what's going on uh, but just to make it very easy, first of all we've got the settings menu which you can see this is this beautiful brownish overlay, everything is highlighted in ye yellow, you've got the settings, achievements, all that kind of stuff you need to have. Um, down here to the uh, bottom left of your screen there are some uh, active quests, you can actually pin them if you want, which is kind of cool because then you have this in here or you just do an unpin them and uh, this is a actually how you do this. And now the next task is to build a village center as you can see, if there are more of these you can just pin the ones you want to pin, um, which I find is a very nice idea. Then you have got the controls over your time, uh, decrease and increase the speed, and you've got some effects that are in um, position or not. Later on in the game you do have some effects when you fulfill some quests, for example, you've got an increased efficiency of, let's say, uh, wood cutting and all these kind of things, then you would find them down here. Now, if we go further to the bottom part of the screen, you can see that there is this new a little, um, it's, it's kind of a little binocular thing or even though this is just like a telescope. This is the visibility option and now you can finally toggle different visibility things which I love because that's one of the biggest complaints I had. Now you've got the di desirability of uh, people where they can live. Um, now we don't have houses in here but if, if you toggle this one you see where people are most likely to settle because that's one of the specialties about this game. Um, people are going to settle wherever you tell them they can but you do not have full control over it. You will see that actually when we start building. Um, you've got the f fertility which is uh, important to note when you want to build um, crops and stuff. You can see around these uh, areas where the bushes are there's uh, a very low fertility while you have a very high one over here. Um, if you want to go for minerals you can see there are some minerals over here highlighted in green. We don't know which minerals these are yet. You have to research this basically and then you've got the zoning area 
areas. We, we didn't zone anything quite yet, so you don't see this. And you can finally toggle the boundaries of your territory, which I think is brilliant because this is one of, one of those things which I hated the most uh, to, to have this outline all of the times um, visible. At the beginning, it's kind of nice so you know where exactly your boundaries are, but later on, this becomes a little bit more annoying, so to say. Well, this is it. And now you can also go to territory and then you can purchase new ones. At the moment, uh, we could buy another one, but we don't we need the money for something else first so we don't buy anything else um, we can't paint yet we have to first of all build something so let's talk about the building menu now this is a brand new menu and I love it you have now a separate between different elements and beforehand that was really quirky you had some some decorations and nature and no one really knew what it was now you have a very nice categorization you've got logistics you've got resource production you've got food production you've got decoration transportation and wall <laughs> Which is a lot of fun. just wall as one um, and then you've got all in one if you want so uh, if you go to logistics we're gonna first of all build this one uh, real quick somewhere over here this is going to be our city center um, you can move the city center later but I'm gonna put this now down here and I'm gonna say build and now you can see our villages just spawned before we go in there uh, you can see there's a little highlight exclamation mark that we have some new stuff now um, and we can finally paint something so we are going to paint actually um, by the way by holding down it gives you also controls to the bottom right on the screen if you hold down control and then scroll your mouse wheel you can increase and decrease the size of your brush which I think is cool and it became a lot uh, smaller now with this update which is also pretty nice um, you can see also desirability is low at this point it's becoming higher later on because once we build like a market or so they will be able to go here so you can paint just this area and this area is now where they can build some houses um, at the moment we only have residential because we don't have any other um, resource production set now but we can also click down to build this workshop because that's where the people need to be in in order to build items and build buildings and stuff. Now we're gonna build this real quick. This is an instant build. You don't need to wait it for, for being uh, completed. And you can see down here, you've got also new menus, which is now decoration is updated as well. We've got a bush shrubbery, we've got decorations and we've got a wall. And we also have some mods that I have installed that also have their own category right now, which I love because this makes things so much easier. And then you've got also like a little scroll bar down here. I would highly recommend to always go with the different uh, you know categories that makes life a lot easier now that was all about the bottom part of the screen now there is the top part of the screen and that's my favorite addition or the favorite change now your resources and everything is ordered in a lot a lot better way now you've got down here to the top left side uh, you've got your coins and you've got your daily balance um, which is very important because you need to um, ensure that you're always in the positive and stuff like that um, we're going to talk about this once we click down here for the book but this is something for later now the next bit is you can see your resources at this moment we only have berries we've got wood we've got cloth and we've got tools there will be a lot more in the later stage of the game as i said we will cut over to a other save that i have now we've got villagers at this point in time we've got eight villages there is no happiness and we've got actually eight unemployed villagers you can see there's um, everything over here is missing as you can see it's cut through and we've got no workers assigned to this building in order to assign people it's now becoming a lot easier but before we click on the building let's do the last bit and I, I excluded that because this is the big new change you've got the book now the book is basically your go-to page in terms of management of this game you've got the villagers you've got buildings you've got trade you've got budget estates army and logs logs is also very handy to see what happened but if you go over the villagers you can see we've got a lot of serfs right now we've got um, the names and we've got their job status at this point in time they don't have any job if you click down you can see all the jobs available and at this point in time um, they have these are the allowed this is the archivist we can't do this right now but this is for later and now we can go and say you are a builder and we're gonna say you are a builder and we're gonna say you are a builder I know this because we can only assign three as you can see and if I hit play you can see these three are assigned you could also assign them from over here and just like say plus but at this point we have already three people assigned so you don't need to do more anyhow let's do some building first and then uh, we talk further about what we've done okay so let's go into the building and first of all we go into um, different things oh first of all I think we have to just play the game real quick 
um, until we've unlocked these things. Now these are unlocked and you can see we've got a stone cutter camp, a lumber camp. We need all of this, so we are just going to put the lumber camp down here and we're going to put down also a wonderful, um, we're just gonna food production. There's going to be the gathering hut is going to be here. And we also need a, a wonderful little well because this is where the people get their water from. Um, and you can see all these little windows that pop up you can basically take those windows and put them wherever you want, which I think is a great thing. And you can just zoom to the workplace. Once you're away, let's say like that, and you want to know where this exactly is, just go over here. So very, very easy. And you can also clear the changes and all these kind of things. Um, but now we say build. I'm going to say the same here, build. And we're going to say the same, build. Now we've confirmed that they should build this. And now we can actually um, increase the speed and you can see people are starting now to move and build these things. Um, this is brand new because uh, beforehand you just put things down and they automatically started to build. Now you just have to confirm things first off. We're also going to put down a stone cutter camp over here and we just say build and then everyone is going to do their stuff. Now as I have built that one we're going to employ first of all two wood cutters and um, now you can already see there are uh, missing missing resources for that. So at this point in time, you can see zero of 10 wood and zero of five tools. So at this point we have tools available, but we don't have enough wood because I think this one is also, yeah, we're waiting for a builder and this one is also missing out on stones. So what we're waiting for is obviously stones. Um, the stone cutter camp is just about to be built. So now it's all a waiting game and I would say, let's do a little cut until I've uh, basically done a little village and then we can talk about more. All right, one more thing, because I just were a little bit too quick. Um, as you may notice, at this point in time, no one is really cutting trees and no one is really cutting stones. This is because we need to make sure that um, the extraction zone is also defined, which is a good little tool to make sure that they do not cut everything at the beginning. And you need to do the same for all the other areas and now they start working. Now, it might seem a little bit weird why you wouldn't do this from the beginning, but hear me out. I think it's a very good idea to have it that way because sometimes you need to have the time to let things regrow. And this would be a great idea to just pause it by you know, making sure that they are not allowed to um, do this. You also have like a reforestation, re reforestation, that's how you say that. Um, this is where the forester would place new trees. Um, we don't have that yet, so uh, I'm not just going to you know, uh, do this, but we're just going to first of all employ one stone made and then we need to also have the stone mason hut who is going to make us some polished stone which we will also need for something but we are not that far yet it's still locked so um as i said i'm gonna build a little bit for you and then we'll talk a little bit more all right things are moving forward and i thought i'd just take that opportunity to show you uh, the very early building of this uh, series over here i'm even considering to play this a little bit more in the coming days um and make this like an extreme beautification for a, a very tiny village you know nothing nothing big just keeping it small and and nice and you know um but you know as this episode is uh, all focusing on the new update um of the ui i'm going to show you some cool new things that i can finally show you so first of all you can see um i've got a couple of things uh, set up over here we've got a little market space we've got our first buildings in place and uh, you can also see that one thing i just didn't talk about is also once you go over these things they become like a real 3d model like beforehand it's all like a grayed out like little icon almost and if you go on it it's like the real hammer i like that little bit and then um, in order to get away with this little exclamation mark you really have to navigate into it so you can see we can build a rustic church now and we can also build the lord manor you have to really go there first of all to get rid of that little icon um, and now you can see things filling up over here so happiness at this point is at 70 percent um, and also you can now see what is making us um, lag beforehand in the old version there was always a little um, icon of, of what is a problem but not how much it was so at this point we have minus 10 percent of comfort and we've got minus 20 percent of service so comfort is always when people don't have the buildings yet finished so uh, there are still people who need to build their house you can see there's no residential area given to them so i'm just going to open that up a little and they can see there's one more building being built and you can see now it's uh, only five percent missing so that means there's one more building left that we need so i'm just giving them even more space and see if they if they would put that down their house maybe maybe top here i don't know let's put all these things down maybe they're going to settle here i don't know maybe they don't i'm just going to 
Jim's going to paint all of that. Not sure where they're deciding to build their house, if they even want to or not. Um, maybe there's not enough space. But anyhow, as you can see that this is done. And service is most likely going to be the rustic church, which they are missing, missing out on. Um, and since, you know, these people are very religious, uh, we need a church. So what we can do, we're going to put this rustic church right in here in the background. And I think then we can also put like a little uh, decoration onto it. We are just not going to make this like super big, you know. Um, this is going to be only what we need. A little bit of a tower here, just like so. And then you can say build and they are going to build this for us while I can show you some of the other great additions to the menu. So first of all, one of the biggest ones I love is if you click the market stall, now you can see you've got two stalls over here and you've got the market tenders uh, in here. So previously that was all segmented via each stall and you needed to scroll for hell. That was insane. Now you've just got the next empty slot over here and you could say, okay, well go for apples for example. And at this point you can see the first market tender is assigned and uh, he's building. You can actually, you could now go and have the second one. This is Lyft Hildes who's unemployed right now. Um, but I'd rather have Lyft Hildes uh, work in the sawmill. So I'm just going to show you how that works this time. You can see he's still unemployed. I'm just going to hire him. There you go. Working fine. Now what I just wanted to say is this may Menu is so much more cleaned up now so you can see no workers are assigned at this point in time we are still missing out on one worker you can see how much is sold this week for how much you can see easily a parts list now you can actually see this in the more or less like old version this is how it was arranged in the old version I you know still don't like this to be honest because that's just like the more you get the more you have to scroll you can obviously also move that window around if you want but I just like the building overview that's a lot more helpful and if you go to edit building you can build new parts you know we could just go in now and build like a little tent cover if we wanted to you know like a little decorative one uh, stuff like that or we can just put some barrels next to it let me just do this and then build the barrels they will be built now in a couple of seconds so that's pretty pretty handy you can also see the resources up here um, got a lot more there are also some mushrooms in place I'm, I'm not sure if I have a mod or if they will uh, implement mushrooms soon I don't know how um, but you can also see that we are uh, running full in coins because our balance is positive and at this point we are basically losing money because we're not spending it um, and therefore you would need to build like the Lord Manor. This is where you get more um, space for keeping your money or like for, you know, holding your money if, if, if that makes more sense. Um, but yeah, a lot of things um, that are so much improved, like all of these menus now work a lot better. And uh, if you go further into, that's a lot to um, be happy about. But now um, as a last bit, let's jump over into an old safe of mine. And I'm gonna show you how this looks in a running and bigger city. This is what we do and then um, that should be it for today's video. All right, as promised, we are now in uh, one of my bigger cities. This is the current state of the Foundation Friday um, city we were playing. And honestly, I forgot most of it. So <laughs> it doesn't really make any sense. But now I can show you all the different uh, areas in here. So you can see, first of all, the des uh, desirability tooltip is uh, activated. Now, this is the desirability that I was showing you. So you can see this is where people would most likely start to settle. Um, then we can also go into the fertility. You can see a lot of green area here, a very fertile land um, we can look into the minerals you can see there are some minerals in the back and so on I mean with the minerals update it's most likely that the minerals are with those big thingies so that's not really surprising you can see my zoning which is a little bit weird but this is how my zoning is at the moment um, so you can see where all my zones are so this is where actually you know this is something where I could now go in and just get rid of this reforestation area because we don't need that anyways but uh, we can just keep that here but I've, I've no one assigned anyway, so it doesn't really make any sense. Um, and now you can see, look at how the menu just completely went nuts over here. So first of all, you've got your um, coin overview. Um, you can see now the uh, budget in a very nice way. Uh, you can see the income. You can also have this weekly if you want. Um, or you have the advanced, however you want to look into. You've got all your expenses. You can see how much you make from what. So that's very, very good overview, very handy. Um, you can see all of the resources. You can see the non favorited in here. I still haven't found out how I am favoriting those, to be honest. I don't know if I can push them over or not. Um, so not really sure how exactly that works. So you can toggle the stockpiling um, if you want, but I'm not sure how I can favor them, whatever. Um, the overview 
is a lot better now by just clicking it open and then you can see whatever you have. Uh, very handy, very quick. You can see how many people, you can see how the happiness is um, moving on. You can see how many people are unemployed. Everything at one glance and I'm a big, big fan of that. Uh, and again, you can disable the different areas down here. Just simply do this. And what I love is there's a close all windows button now, which comes in very handy if you do stuff like that, for example and you click in a lot of buildings because you want to have like an overview and like I don't want to close them all off you can just click down here boom all gone um, I'm quite happy they thought of that because I'm the kind of person who's just like opening up these things move that to the side you know move that to this side have an overview and then yeah just go and this is how you do it I'm, I'm not sure if there's even a shortcut for that but yeah so that's it guys I really hope you appreciated that little look into the UI of um, yeah foundation which uh, has a brilliant overhaul and I think this overhaul was way overdue and I'm really happy you also get this monthly report by the way you can just click it open and then uh, you see it also very nice just a quick overview to see um, and you can see that you're still making money uh, everything you need to know so very nice indeed anyway stay safe everyone have a good weekend and I talk to you in the next one goodbye